All right, uh, so this is day one of the ramen journey. So uh, I decided I'm gonna do a pork face broth, so I bought some pork feet, and um, there they are. So I'm just gonna, basically I'm just gonna cook them until they start releasing a bunch of collagen. And in there, I've just got onion, garlic, the feet, some white vinegar, a splash of sake, some black pepper, and then I'm gonna just cover it with water and let them go and uh, collect the stock that'll gel into collagen and then we'll take it from there. So this is day one. What day is it? April 15th. Thursday, April 15th. All right, here we go. Day one. Hey, so um, it's day three of ramen, and I just want to talk through what I did, what I did on day two, because I kind of skipped it entirely because I was just working on everything. So I'm just gonna briefly talk through what I did. So last I left you, I was boiling pork feet for the like collagen rich part of the broth, like broth part one, and that is here. Um, it's like Jello. I mean. Literally. You see that? It's, yeah, it's so cool. It's like meat jello. Um, and so then what I did after that was I started broth part two, which is instead of, so basically same setup, right? Aromatics, onion, garlic. I think I did celery this time. But instead of pork feet, it was pork neck bones. Um, so I put the neck bones in. 90 minutes into the cooking, I shaved the meat off. And that's this right here that's the neck meat the reason i took it off 90 minutes in is because you don't want uh the meat on the bones for the entirety of the cooking because it'll taste like nothing it'll turn to mush it'll taste like absolute nothingness so when it was tender and cooked through but not bland i took it off and then i let the bones keep going and i ended up cooking the bones for 12 whole hours um and that got me a beautiful uh, sort of thickened, fatty stock, and then I added about half of the meat jello <laughs> back into that, uh, melted it all down, and I got this beautiful, see the fat cap on that? Um, when I heat it back up, it'll obviously disperse throughout, but there you go. That is the ramen broth that I'm going to be using. So it's like this tonkotsu-esque, porky, pork bony kind of, uh, just really unctuous broth and I tasted it and I think it's gonna go great and the last thing that I did was the tare the base so I took Nami Chen um, over at Just One Cookbook my one of my favorite food blogs on the entire internet and I uh, basically used her ponzu recipe and I kind of wung it on like the amount of sake the amount of sugar um, but what I did keep from the recipe is that it's half soy sauce, half citrus juice. So I opted for a mix of lemon and grapefruit juice um, and soy sauce. And then in there, I'm steeping the lemon peels, the grapefruit peels, and katsuobushi or bonito flakes. So just like a dried, smoked tuna flake, a fish flake. Um, and that's all steeping. And when it's done, which Monday is when the last of my ingredients comes in. So in three days, um, that's when I'll put everything together. So, day two was busy, did a lot, but that's where we're headed. Um, it's coming together, and we only need a few more things and a couple more days, and I think we're good to go. See ya. Hey, um, so it's, it's ramen day, um, but I wanted to kind of check in and take a second to talk through what my hopes and fears are for kind of each part of the ramen. So let's start with the tare, the soup base. Um, I have tasted it. Uh, it's been infusing with the citrus and all that. And the only thing I'm a little nervous about is I hope that it's not too um, like sharp, you know, too sharp and acidic. Um, I might add a, a little touch more sugar just to make sure that the sort of sharpness of citrus is cut um, a little bit. I just don't want it to 
tastes weird when I add like the pork stock, but it's so rich. The pork stock is that it might it might be good to cut. So I'm I'm just nervous about the sharpness of it. Um, excited generally just to see how the ponzu flavor kind of plays with the pork stock. So about the broth, um, no fears. I mean, it tastes really good. Maybe I'm a little nervous that cooking it for so long, you know, 12 hours, might have brought a little bitterness out of the veg, like the celery and the onion. Um, I, but I've tasted it and I don't think it's too much. So just excited about how rich and how unctuous it is. Um, also, progressively, it seems like I've been just like losing hair as I've been doing this. I shaved and then... I'm I'm fine. That not that much time has elapsed. It's okay. Um, then let's talk about noodles. I'm excited about the noodles because if they're good, then this concept of like fresh ramen noodles that are soft and not dry that are also shelf stable and can hang around till what's the date on these? Like I want to say it's really far in the future. Um, it was on here. The, okay, there we go. Oh my, yeah. November 8th? Oh my. Yeah, okay. So they'll be around for a while. I'm excited to, if they're good, I'll have a go-to or a noodle. And for toppings, the chili oil. I'm excited. I love that combination of flavors, like the citrus and the spice. Uh, yuzu kosho is um, a beautiful ingredient, and I hope to emulate it with this chili oil. So, yeah, that's that's it. That's what I'm excited for, or a little bit nervous about, and we'll we'll find out shortly. Cool. See ya.